Hey, Stewie, look, I want to apologize about earlier. I, what the hell is this? Brian, I think it's time that Rupert made his choice. What are you talking about? Talking about love, Bri. Talking about adult decisions. Rupert's been with me, and now he's been with you. It's time for him to pick. Stewie, this is stupid. I'm not doing this. Brian, either you cooperate, or I blow my Adam Levine dog whistle. Hey, my voice isn't that high. It is. It is, though. All right, Rupert, who will it be? And before you answer, think of all the good times we've had. The time we met the Beatles on the Ed Sullivan Show. That winter we lived on the sun. And here's my favorite. A blank one we can fill up with a future together. Yes! Oh, my God, Rupert, I'm so sorry for everything. I missed you, too. Whatever. Hey, you done with that weird octopus doll? It's you and me forever, Rupert. I just hope Oscar didn't take it too hard. This is it, number 92. This is Sonia's storage unit. Quagmire, are you in there? Oh, he's eating. We'll come back when you're done eating. Glenn! Hurry, she'll be back soon. I can't believe the guy with the ponytail and the facial tattoo at the front desk would let this happen. Well, what's this? We got company? Hold it right there. Please, do you think I'm afraid of you? Boy, if you were ever going to stand, this would be the time, Joe. Everybody just shut! You idiots should have minded your own business. This is our business. You kidnapped our friend. You're going to jail. Don't come any closer or I'll shoot you. Oh, I don't think you're going to shoot me. You don't got the boobs. What? I don't know. Now just hand me the gun, Sonia. Oh, I swear to God, you get one inch closer to me and I'm going to shoot you. What the hell? Like I said, you're going to jail. Oh my God, Joe, that was so close. How'd you know the gun would jam? It didn't jam, Peter. The gun was never loaded. Sort of had a mental breakdown in April. No more bullets for this guy. Oh, Glenn, I was so worried about you. Are you all right? No, no, I I'm pretty far from all right. Well, I guess this is as good a time as any. Happy birthday, Joe. You dick. Thanks for your help, guys. I might not be alive if it weren't for you. Hey, no problem, buddy. Yeah, you would have done the same for us, Quagmire. You know, I guess what I realize from all this is that when it comes to relationships, I need to be the kinky one. Uh, we're just glad to have you back, Quagmire. Yep, and it's good to put all those troubles behind us. My dad told me he's pregnant. And then another. And then another.